Yesterday, both the euro and the British pound slid against the U.S. dollar weighed down by Fed official statements. They struck a hawkish tone, signaling further interest rate hikes. Moreover, Jerome Powell is expected to reaffirm the messages of potentially higher interest rates at the Fed's upcoming Jackson Hole Economic Symposium. Against this background, traders continue to buy the greenback, expecting their central bank to maintain a hawkish stance. Today's macroeconomic calendar is full of important news releases, which may lead to a surge in market volatility. It includes a batch of reports on business activity in the manufacturing and services sectors from Germany, France, the euro area and the UK. All in all, statistics are expected to be rather downbeat, especially with regard to services PMIs. Thus, the services index for the Eurozone is forecast to come in at 50.5 in August after 50.9 in July. If the indicator is below the 50 mark, indicating a contraction in activity, investors will have to reassess their bets amid the euro's potentially deeper losses. Likewise, growth in Britain's manufacturing and services sector is expected to ease further. If data is worse than expected, the pound sterling may well tumble. Besides, traders may take notice of U.S. building permits and new home sales. Stronger statistics will support the dollar. The focus of market participants will be on the U.S. services and composite PMIs. U.S. business activity is on better footing than factories in the euro area. If the indices are above analysts' forecasts, demand for the greenback will increase. Thus, the risky assets are unlikely to recoup yesterday's losses today. And now let's move on to technical analysis. According to the one-hour euro American dollar chart, a false breakout at 1.0870 will create a sell signal, thus bringing the euro down to 1.0836. If the price fixes below this level, the Europe's single currency will extend weakness, sliding to 1.0808 and even 1.0777. At these levels, I recommend going long or on a rebound to catch an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Long positions at 1.0808 and 1.0836 can be considered only amid a false breakout. Besides, going long will be relevant if bulls regain control of 1.0870 amid stronger than expected PMI figures from the euro area and gloomy data from the US. In this case, the euro will have a chance to trim early losses, rising to 1.0909. At this mark, it would be a wise decision to go short on a rebound, counting on an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. The next resistance level lies at around 1.0946. Meanwhile, the British pound hit a new one week high before falling in a major sell-off. Nevertheless, an uptrend remains intact. Today, a sterling will hardly be able to reach yesterday's high. A false breakout at 1.2767 will create a sell signal, thus dragging the currency down to the support level of 1.2726. If the price settles below this mark, the British pound will dip to 1.26. 89 and probably 1.2654 coming under pressure from upbeat U.S. statistics. At the level of 1.2689, traders are recommended to go long on a rebound to catch an intraday correction of 20-25 pips. Long positions at 1.2726 can be opened only in the event of a false breakout. In a bull case scenario, sterling may rise above 1.2767. Going short will be relevant at 1.2797 amid a false breakout or at 1.2847 on a rebound in the hope of an intraday correction of 30-35 pips. Best of luck.